This is Geometry Box, and as you can tell by the title, it's Geometry Dash, but a sandbox game. It was developed and put together by YouTuber Macropixel, and I thought that it would be fun if I gave it a shot. I forgot to mention that I did reach out to Macropixel and ask for permission to make a video on the game, and he graciously gave the go-ahead. <coughs> but we don't talk about the fact that this was nine months ago. I haven't actually played the game at all yet, but um, from watching Macropixel's video, there's a lot that went into this. I'm gonna try and create a new world and beat the game, but I mean... We'll see how well that goes. I'm gonna name this Subscribe to Juniper. I think that's a very good name. I think that's a really good world name. Is the cat cube available? Yes! Yes, we're winning! We're winning! You can pick like precise colors, which is great if you're like, not me. Yeah, I'd say that's close enough. Create. Here we go. Getting far, getting far, getting far. Oh, it's, it's over. Okay, well here I am. This is my world. I think it's a banger. And it looks like my HP is at the top. So, gotta make sure that doesn't go down to zero. How much damage does a spike do? Ow. Okay, so from watching his video, yeah, it looks- Ow. Looks like I have to- Ow! Stop it! Oh my god. The way that you beat the game- ugh, Whatever, screw it. Screw it! The way that you beat the game is you basically just- Stop it! You collect a bunch of shards in different biomes that, you know, correspond to the type of the shard. And once you have these shards, you're able to build items and stuff, craft items or whatever you want to call it. And that'll lead us to beating the game. I'm going to die. Like, my death is imminent. Okay, so it looks like this is my crafting menu. Whenever I find one- Hey! Stop it! Whenever I find one of any material that can build an item, I'm able to, like, see the recipe and stuff so I can make it later. I need 24 shards to make the first pick, so let me do that. No, I'm dead! No, I've already died. Thankfully, you don't actually lose items and stuff when you die, so that's nice. Shards respawn and stuff over time, but I'd love it if I could, you know, get enough to make a pickaxe. Actually, do I have enough yet? No, I need five more. Look at me go, I'm so good at dashing. It's almost like I've done this for years. Oh, crap. Let's go, I have just enough. Craft it. Finally, I can break things. Oh, look at me go. Iconic. I think if I make up like enough space, there should I should be able to make spaces for more fire shards to grow. Cause I'm pretty sure from what I saw from the video, fire shards can spawn. Yeah, see, there they go. They're, they're, they're spawning already. They can spawn on any open fire like block or whatever they're called. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know. Well, I got a spike in my inventory. Causes a sharp feeling of warmth. I mean, that is one way to describe it. That is, that is probably accurate. Oh, I made a very severe mistake. I've trapped myself. Oh no. I'm just gonna staircase back up like I'm playing Minecraft or something. Oh no, I can make it so that I can actually come up here. That's nice. Don't you dare. Don't you d I see you. I s don't even try. Don't even try. Plus tile. Looks like Switzerland. I don't know. I never thought about it that way. I guess, I guess it's true. I guess it's accurate. I can get an orange orb to double jump whenever I'm in the air if I get 50 fire shards. That's crazy. Oh look, I'm 17% done with the game. Wow, look at this. They're generating left and right now. Perfect. I have 47 fire shards, so I'm getting close to being able to make the jump ring. 48, ow, ow, 49, 50! Ignore the fact that I took damage multiple times. Boom! Got an orange orb. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Poggers. Oh, maybe I- Poggers! Finally, I can avoid spikes the way that you're supposed to avoid spikes. Now I make the potion. Do I just drink it? I assume that is what you do with it! Okay, I think now it's time to go to the other biome. There's biomes for like every type of shard in Geometry Dash because that's what the whole game's modeled after, but I'm dumb and I forgot which one I have to go to. The poison one is next to me and I know that, but I've, I'm pretty sure that that one's like one of the harder ones and I should wait. I literally just, I can't break it. I cannot, yeah. Okay, off we go, other direction. Oh, I don't take any damage from spikes anymore. Look at how good I am. I'm no clipping. I can't break those blocks yet. I have to get the right pickaxe. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop! Okay, so it's 24 ice shards for the pickaxe. I assume it's just gonna be 24 everything shards for every pickaxe. Of course, I'm directly next to the freaking poison biome. Like, I, I need to really hope that none of the projectiles from over there end up murdering me. And I also need to hope that I don't end up murdering myself out of stupidity, because that is very possible. It is a possibility. No! As I was talking about. Hey, at me, I have a very cool suggestion. The suggestion is stop taking damage ever? That's my suggestion. It's okay.
okay back we go no problem no problem at all there was no problem i never had I, there were no there was absolutely zero problem one more yes finally i can do things boom insane i think my next mission is to be the icy potion so that i can you know head into other areas i feel like i would just immediately die if i tried to go into any other area if I tried to go into any other area without buffing myself up a little bit. And done. Boom. Time for the poison biome. I assume that's what- I mean, it's it's directly next to me. I'm just gonna kinda- I'm hoping that's the right one. These ones all seem to have spawned in much better locations for me. I mean, look at them! They're just on the floor. It's perfect. And look, I've already got enough to make the poison pick. Bam. Oh, I could make a dash orb? Oh, that's amazing. A double speed portal so I can double my maximum player speed. But that one takes 80 whole shards. It's gonna take me a year and a half to get that. Actually, I wonder what's underground. I just realized that I'm going to have absolutely no way to get back up. Well, this is not something I can break. All right, we're heading out. Goodbye. Honestly, I feel like building a staircase all the way back up is just going to take forever. And I feel like it would be faster to just kind of... It was worth. It was worth. Potion. Boom. Oh, you know what? I actually have enough shards to make a blue orb. So it inverts my gravity, right? Oh, yeah, it does do that. That is what it does. It, oh, yep. Hey, now. Hello. That was a dodge and a half. That was a dodge and a half. I popped right off. Just kidding. I'm not bad at the video game anymore, guys. I've gotten over it. It's okay. I take back what I said about being the best video game player ever. I literally just went directly into that spot. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here upside down in the middle of these two spikes and waiting for my health to regen. And we're just gonna vibe. We're just gonna vibe here until I'm like ready to leave. Which may never happen ever because I'm traumatized. <laughs> I saved it! Wow. I either suck really bad at this game or I have like the best saves ever. Like esports level saves. Man, there's so many of these. Honestly, I'm wondering if I should just make the potion before I actually make the pickaxe. I feel like that makes sense. I only need five extra shards to make it, and then I don't have to worry about these friggin' things everywhere. Success! LOL! LOL! You can't do damage to me! LOL! L yeah, try! 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 Uh-huh! Try! Why is it not working? Huh? It's not working! Oh, that's crazy! Oh, look! Oh, it doesn't work! Oh, there's so many of you! Oh, you really want to do damage to me, don't you? Well, you can't! I'm sorry to tell you! I'm a bit too- I'm a bit- I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit too buff for you! I'm sorry, I'm actually- I'm actually built different! You know, that's what they say? One more! There it is! I see it! Let's go! Build! Boom! Boom! I want to build the wrench too, but it has a lot of crafting items I need. Actually, I already have a bunch of those though, so I'm just gonna get five more poison shards. These are not poison shards. These are not poison shards. I'm gonna get some more shadow shards, and then I'm gonna go back and get some more ice shards, and then I'm gonna make the wrench. Mission success. Boom. I wanna try this out, I wanna see what it does. So basically, I can change the color of a block, but which block is the question oh oh look at that wow i just made the shard blue oops okay so i believe the final biome the lava biome is underground but i don't really know where underground exactly oh, i'm gonna go underground starting from the shadow biome i think that's a good place to start aha uh -huh, this looks promising so i definitely forgot that i can't mine this yet ow I actually have an idea. I'm gonna make my way in here first. Actually, let me just do this. That just makes life so much easier. No, it doesn't. I see an entrance all the way over there. I'm getting pretty close to it. Boom! Into death. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Ow! Ow! Don't you dare. I will go insane. Let's go! Boom. Finally, I can do things without the fear of dying! There are so many friggin' shards here. Like, it's insane. It's a lifesaver. Pickaxe acquired. And right, now I can really start doing things here. Look at this block up here, it just has everything on it. Okay, so now that I've gotten the lava pick, my next goal is to get a bonus pickaxe. So you guys know in GD, bonus shards are basically just the number of the lowest amount of shards that you have out of all of them. Basically, you can see right there, I have 62 lava shards, but I only have four bonus shards because I only have four ice shards. One bonus shard is just one of every single shard. 
I'm gonna need 24 to make a bonus pick, so I gotta get to that as soon as I possibly can, which is also known as right now. Okay, current goal. I need to get more shadow shards, poison shards, and ice shards. Just vibing out in the ice biome. Or, you know, as you could say, chilling out. Cause it's cold, and so you chill out because it's cold. All right, that's 24 of those, perfect. I'm only gonna need like 10 more poison shards. It's not bad at all. All right, now we just need shadow shards. I gotta go all the way to the other end of the world for this one. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Oh, we're just kind of bouncing. Oh, we're bouncing. 24 bonus shards acquired. Time to do the two. Oh, my inventory is full. Well, that was anticlimactic. I have the hammer. I've done it. Have it. There it is. Congratulations, you beat the game. After exiting to the main menu, you can re-enter this world if you wish. Well, that was Geometry Box. Uh, at least I guess that was the gameplay aspect because it is a sandbox game, so there's tons more that you can do. If you guys like this video, let me know because I would actually be down to go back on the world and build like a house and do some more, you know, completionist stuff. Kind of get some of the speed portals and stuff that I didn't actually get in this run. Friendly reminder, check out MacroPixel. He's the guy who made this game and I think he did a really good job. He also has a video up on his channel about, you know, how he put everything together and how everything works. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I highly recommend that. Uh, the video will be linked in the end card if you're interested. With all that being said though, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.